Today we're going to make a pasta bake or a macaroni bake. Um, you can choose whichever um, pasta you'd like to use, so it's very versatile. Okay, so as ever, the first thing we're going to do is go over, wash our hands before we work with food, before we touch food, before we eat food, and especially right now, we have to wash our hands really, really well, as ever. And pop on an apron, a nice clean apron to keep yourself and the ingredients and food lovely and clean. Excellent. Okay, so as all our recipes, this one is really simple and it's very versatile. So like I've said, you could use any forms of pasta, all right? I've actually used macaroni, which is the smallest one, the little one with the little holes, which is rather sweet. But you could use twists or you could use penne. Um, it's completely up to you. So what you need to do before you start as such is you need to get a pan of water on the stove and the pan of water needs to come to the bowl and you need to follow the instructions on the packet about how much pasta to use and for how long you cook it. Okay, very important. Your other prep is, I've got some sweet corn here. I've actually cooked off a brown onion there, but you don't have to do that if you don't want. You could use spring onions, all right, which are chopped here. I've got some herbs here. I've actually got in there some parsley. I've got some chives. And I've also got some basil. So again, whatever you like. Seasonings, again, if you're spicy, you could add some chili powder rather than just pepper. It's completely up to you. Mustard powder is always a brilliant one because it enhances the flavor of cheese. It's a great, great, great one. Two eggs, mixture of peppers. Again, these are sweet peppers. I've got yellow, I've got red, I've got orange. You could use green. Um, I've got some grated cheese. And those are the spring onions, okay? So again, you could have a look in the fridge, see what you've got, and it's very versatile. So the first thing I'm going to do is over here, oh, maybe I better quickly run through these. Mixing bowl, egg bowl, dessert spoon, teaspoon, fork, timer, a serving dish or an oven proof dish um, to bake it in. Obviously, you need the saucepan to cook off the pasta and a baking tray. And I think that's about it. So you cook off the pasta in advance, which is important. All right. Then you've got a lovely bowl here. And all I'm going to do with that is I'm going to start adding all the different ingredients. It's going to be lovely and colourful, this, which is, which is great. Um, I'm going to put in some some sweet corn because we all love sweet corn i'm going to actually use some of those cooked onions but again if you don't want to cook onions just use some spring onions you could use some cherry tomatoes as well they would go really nicely as well all right you mix all that up um i'm going to season that so i'm going to put in some of the herbs into there herbs add color add flavor I'm gonna put in what I call a good pinch of mustard powder. You won't actually taste the mustard powder, it will just enhance the flavor of the cheese, which is yummy. Put in a little bit of pepper. Like I say, if you're spicy, pop in some chili powder. I'm gonna put in a little bit of oregano in there, just because I've got it and I like it. Mix that round, like that. Okay, give it a good stir. I'm not going to worry too much about over stirring it at this stage because I'm going to now crack the eggs and we're going to crack the eggs in the usual way we always crack our eggs so we're going to crack them on the table very gently pull and into your bowl do this into a separate bowl please just in case you get any shell in the mixture or on the terrible chance that the egg might not be fresh. Then whisk it up, loads and loads of lovely, lovely air, like that. That's looking great. I'm actually going to get myself a slightly bigger bowl now, just because I've got quite a lot of mixture. I'm going to transfer all the yummy bits from there 
into that bigger bowl just to make it a little bit easier for you to see. I'm going to add some of the cheese, the grated cheese now, so about probably about half of the cheese now. Mix it up so that it's going to bake into the mixture. It's going to be yummy. Then take the egg, pour all the egg into the pasta mix. And again, give that a lovely, lovely stir. It might look a little bit runny at this stage, but don't worry about that because that doesn't matter because the egg is going to set and that's what's going to be delicious. So then take your serving dish and what I would do is just put the mixture, maybe you want a bigger serving dish, it depends how many you're serving, obviously, like that. And then what I'm going to do is sprinkle some of the extra cheese on the top there, which is gonna go lovely, lovely golden brown and make a lovely crisp topping to that. And then you pop that onto the baking tray and that will go off into the oven. It will probably take, a, a dish that size will probably take about 15, 20, 20 minutes. But the main thing is it's got to be golden brown. It's got to look really yummy and the egg will be set. And that is your macaroni bake. Enjoy.